Good morning. Um, we come before you today with broken hearts. I'd like to start off with a verse of John 15, 13. Greater love has no man than this, that he would lay down his life for his friends. Early this morning, North Merle Beach Police Sergeant Gordon William Best laid down his life while in service to the North Merle Beach community. About 4 a.m., Sergeant Best responded to a call from Barefoot Resort. At the time, the road was very wet, and he was headed southbound on Highway 17 when he lost control of his police vehicle. The vehicle veered into the northbound lane, and it collided with a, a utility pole. Sergeant Best was pronounced deceased at the scene of the accident. The South Carolina Highway Patrol multidisciplinary uh, multi accident investigation team is investigating the accident. And we want to thank Horry County Police, Myrtle Beach Police, the South Carolina Highway Patrol for their assistance at the scene of the accident and for their valued support of Sergeant Best's co-workers and friends behind the scene. Sergeant Best was no stranger to the city of North Myrtle Beach. We have, many have known him here in our city and our police department ever since he was a little boy because his mother and his father worked for the North Myrtle Beach Police Department, and both of them retired from our city. He was born on November the 12th, 1990. He joined the North Myrtle Beach Public Safety Department on October the 21st, 2013, and he was promoted to sergeant on February the 17th, to, in 2019. Our community is devastated. This is the first police officer that we have ever lost in the history of our city. We ask that all of our prayers for Sergeant Gordon Bess and his wife, Taylor, their children, Blakey and Braxton, his parents, Gordon Sr. and Renee Best, his father and mother-in-law, Greg and Dana Gore, and all the members of his family, his co-workers and friends. We ask that um, everyone please give his parents and his family some time to process this terrible tragedy. We want to thank the many, many people who have reached out to our city already on Facebook and phone calls. We have had restaurants calling to provide food for our police department. We have had numerous, numerous condolences um, just in this short period of time. As I said earlier, we standing here today, all of us and all of our city are heartbroken, and um, we just ask for God's guidance, his peace, and his uh, grace over the coming days. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, this morning I had the uh, unfortunate duty to deliver the uh, message to Sergeant Best's wife of the worst nightmare that any spouse of a police officer or firefighter could have, and that is uh, um, to break the tragic news to her. Um, I will say that I've uh, known Gordon for quite some time. He uh, was talking the other day about the, the new uh, promotional assessments coming up and, and about his wanting to participate in that. And, uh, 
told him I saw him as uh, someone that was a rising star. So we've got a great loss here in our department. Um, I want to just go on and thank uh, our, uh, our brothers and sisters from uh, Myrtle Beach Police and Horry County and Highway Patrol and County Fire and uh, stepping up and helping us out the way they did this morning. Um, I just, one thing else I really got to say is uh, you'll be missed and uh, we are going to take the next couple of days and weeks and to, to honor his sacrifice that he's made to this community. That's all. rough day for us. I, I got that call right after 4 a.m. and went to the scene and I mean to tell you the entire city family is grieving so please keep us in your thoughts and prayers.